Hey, I'm Steven. Welcome to episode two of the Atlas Arm Prosthetic Hand Project. So in this episode, we're gonna be working on the electronics, so all the wiring, some of the code, and trying to get the electronics of the whole hand to work. All right, so this is essentially how the whole prosthetic is gonna be wired up. I've got my two 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries on the top, and those are both going into my Adafruit power boosts. And those are gonna take the 3.7 volts and boost them up to five volts, 5.2 volts, but around there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two 5 volt and 0 volt outputs from the two power boosts and I'm going to wire them in series. And what that would normally do for me is it would give me a 0 volts and a 10 volts, but I don't need 10 volts. I could power the Arduino, the servo, most everything off of 5. What I do need though is a negative 5 volts, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make the center connecting wire between the two power boosts my ground, and I'm going to make one side of the power boost 5 volts, and the other side negative 5 volts. My EMG board actually needs a negative voltage to work properly. So then by doing it and splitting it up this way and making my center point here ground, I'm giving my EMG board the negative five and the five volts that it needs. So then I'm gonna take those three outputs and those are all gonna to go to the EMG board over here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ground and my five volts and I'm gonna put those into the Arduino and that's gonna power the Arduino, the logic, all that, all the buttons, all the switches, sensors, all that kind of stuff is so gonna be powered by that zero and five volts there. That also means the servo, which is going to be connected to the Arduino. It may actually be powered through the Arduino's voltage regulator, but I might just power it directly from the power boost because it probably has higher amp um, clearance. It can put out more power than the Arduino can, so I may just wire that directly into the power boost. But that doesn't really matter so much. So that's essentially how everything's going to get powered. I'm going to split my voltage up. I would normally be 10 after wiring in series, but I'm going to make the center ground instead of one side of it ground. And then I'll be able to get my negative 5, my positive 5 for the EMG, and then 5 and 0 for everything else that I need to power. Alright, so here I've got a kind of a cool demo of how the um, 3.7 volt lithium ion battery and the power boost from Adafruit are going to work together. So on the power boost, there is a JST connector right here on the bottom. And that fits perfectly with the battery that Adafruit also sells. So if I plug this in here, I'm going to get a blue power light, which tells me that I have... Uh, 5 volts coming out that got boosted up. And here I've got my iPhone 6 and a power cable with USB on the end and I just soldered this USB connector to the power boost and if I plug this in you'll see my iPhone light up because it's charging. So this is the bare bones circuit for the prosthetic. So here we have our two lithium ion 3.7 volt batteries, and both of these are going to our power boost, which are stepping them both up to five volts. Just like I explained earlier, they're wired together so that this wire right here is ground, this wire is negative five volts, and then this one is five volts. I have it disconnected right now just so I'm not chewing through power. Those go into our Arduino Nano, which controls the servo's movement based on the EMG sensor, which is this board here, and you can see this cable runs out, and then this ultimately goes over to my arm. So when I squeeze my muscle, this board takes a signal and sends it over to the Arduino through one of the analog pins, and then in my code, which I'll show you in a sec, takes that signal and interprets it to figure out how to move the servo. So here we're going to turn it on. So Arduino's booting up. So here's our servo. I'm going to squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go, and all I'm doing is just tensing my bicep. Squeeze, let go. Squeeze, let go. Wow, that's actually super cool. Squeeze. And that's really jittery. That's something I'm going to be able to smooth out in the code. That's not too complicated. Let go. So it seems like it likes to sit at one position when I'm not really tens tensing it all. And I can still move my arm all right. It'll move a little bit. But it's really when I squeeze hard that it'll move. So what I might do is, like, once it gets past a certain point, it'll just move all the way to its completely open position. All the way up there so it's not wiggling so much. And then when it lets go, when it gets beneath a certain threshold, it'll just go back to its home position. And I think that'll be one of the modes. But it definitely needs some smoothing out. That's pretty cool, though. So, yeah, that's the bare bones of the circuit. All right, so I've written some new Arduino code and it's working a little bit more sensibly now. So now I've got my servo here and this is in position zero or it's farthest over. And if I squeeze, it moves all the way over to its other position, 180 degrees across. And then I let go and it moves back. So it's kind of a binary positioning system at this point. 
And now I have it mapped out to this muscle on the edge of my forearm. Nevertheless, pretty cool. This whole circuit is essentially a proof of concept. If I unplug this USB here, this is all completely unconnected to a computer. This is battery powered all along here. Nothing connected. So this is essentially what I'm gonna wire up and put inside the prosthetic. All right, let's take a look at the code. So just a quick walkthrough of what it is. I included the server library so the Arduino can talk to the server appropriately. Then I have a couple variables I set up, not pin setup, but variable setup. Uh, so here I have servo, this is pin 13, and then EMG input is going to be A0, that's our analog pin that's reading the signal from the EMG board. And then the EMG value is what this pin gives us, so we'll update that repeatedly throughout the code. So then I make my input, I set that as an input pin, and my servo is an output pin. And then I attach my servo to pin 13, and I start a serial connection. So what this will do, you can see down here, I print out my EMG value so I can always see what it's uh, what my EMG board is putting out just for debugging purposes. So this loop repeats over and over and over again. And uh, what happens here is we read the EMG input, which is A0, and we assign that value to this variable here, and we print that out for debugging. So then what I do is, if the EMG value is greater than 180 degrees, it writes it to essentially the 180 degree position. And if not, if it's less than 180, which is my arm relaxed, then it writes it to the essentially the zero position. So open hand, not squeezing anything, this is the squeezing, grabbing onto something position. <laughs>